she's now living in it she believes in it and she knows that this is who she is now that demon can near you hey guys welcome back to my all right guys so i just wanted to let you guys know that all of these points and everything that i'm going to be stating in this video they are all something that the holy ghost taught me personally because i did a lot of research i spoke to a lot of people no one could help me and this was just definitely something that the holy ghost taught me myself like all by myself so all of these tips you're not going to find it anywhere on the internet because i searched i didn't get to see any other thing like this on the internet so this is like your very first time hearing such points that i'm going to be giving you today so please please guys make sure that you do everything that i say in this video and that you just try to take them seriously okay because it will definitely help you out okay the channel it's your girl Norina Noreen. So if it is your first time seeing this beautiful face, hi, welcome to the channel. In this channel, I talk about natural hair, lifestyle, architecture, content, and lots more beautiful things on this channel. So if that sounds fun to you, please do stick around with us and make sure to subscribe to join the family. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking all about how to get rid of lustful thoughts forever permanently finally finally like how to if you've been struggling with lustful thoughts impure thoughts and you've been like oh you don't know how to get this so hard you feel you are under bondage you feel you are under stronghold i have five tips that are definitely going to work to help you to get rid of lustful thoughts lustful thinking for ever like forever and i mean permanently as long as you are willing to apply these five tips all together okay if you apply just one and you leave the four that thought is, is not going to live permanently and forever so if you are real willing and you are ready to apply these five things they are going to definitely work we're going to be using the word of god and so many other things so if that sounds like what you're interested in then please do continue watching this video so the very first tip that is going to help you to overcome lustful thoughts lustful thinking forever is to always pray remember i didn't just say pray i said always pray you have to incorporate the habit and the lifestyle of a consistent prayer life if you prayed today and a week later god never heard from you again or you stopped praying it's probably what is causing those lustful thoughts to still be bothering you a bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint bible didn't say pray once a week once a month once a year if this is something that has really been bothering you bugging your life disturbing you my dear you have to incorporate a consistent prayer life you have to be a prayer warrior you have to be like a prayerful person that's just what i mean morning afternoon night you always have to be praying and you have to stay on fire and let me give you a scripture right here that says in Galatians 5 verse 16 it says I say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh are you seeing it if you want to fulfill the lust of the flesh do not walk in the spirit don't pray don't um, read your Bible don't study the Bible don't engage in anything that has to do with the spirit my dear if you want to not fulfill the lust of the flesh you have to walk in the spirit and one way that really helps you to walk in the spirit is by prayer by being a prayerful person by speaking in tongues all the time morning afternoon evening just make sure you are a prayerful person don't skip a day without prayer and most importantly don't go to bed without praying <laughs> don't don't you have to just be a prayerful person you have to you know be reading your bible consistently feeding yourself with the word of god you have to listen to message you have to you have to stay in prayer because it helps to edify your spirit when you are praying and you are consistently praying 
you create a shield around yourself there's no way one demon of lust wants to come and choke head and say i want to disturb this boy i want to stop this girl i want to do this thing they can't near you because you have shielded yourself with prayer with fire they can never bother you if you are consistently praying so that is the first tip if you want to not fulfill the lust of the flesh you have to walk in the spirit i've also heard some people saying i prayed the demon is still bothering me it's still coming what's happening i'm praying and they don't understand maybe they've been praying and missed or they just need to increase the time that they are spending in prayer maybe it's two two seconds prayer five five minutes prayer and god is really leading you to to increase your prayer life i personally believe based on experience that the more you stay in prayer the longer time you stay in prayer like the stronger like i don't know the more you can't just easily fall into temptation basically if you pray for four hours every day there's no way that demon of lust is going to bother you because you are shielded you are in fire if need be maybe you've been praying increase your prayer life increase it to one hour two hours three hours as you are led by the spirit because this is definitely something that's going to help to get rid of that demon of lust. so the next thing that's really going to help you to get that demon of lust or those lustful thoughts out of your life forever is to apply the word of god is to use the word of god this is your weapon this is your sword this is the power that you've been looking for okay so let me take you to this scripture for the word of god is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart so this is basically the power you've been looking for you need to apply the word of god because the word of god is the light of god is that light you need to shine on that darkness that demon of lust and where there's light darkness cannot comprehend like the devil will literally flee seize erase when you use the word of God. What I mean by the word of God is that you need to get light out of this scripture that you are reading. You need to get truth, revelation, power. This scripture needs to come alive to you. And when next this demon brings those thoughts to you, you use it against you know the demon. You speak it and the demon flees. The, it flees as long as you know what you are saying and you give it the truth the power that is in that word of God you give it to that demon that demon will flee and will never bother you again so I'm gonna be giving you some scriptures that you can use to war against this demon to defeat this demon in case just to save you some time to read your Bible I'm gonna be giving you three scriptures that you can use to overcome this demon of loss the first one is second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 okay and we're going to be reading the King James Version. It says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself and knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience, to the obedience of Christ. Casting down imaginations. What, what light has been revealed to you from this scripture? What Has this scripture come alive to you? You don't just say, Casting down imaginations every thought and that, that, that no you need to say it with authority you need to say it with power speak it to that demon and it will flee it will flee trust me so i'm going to be giving you another scripture that says in first john chapter 4 verse 4 it says ye are of god little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Are you seeing this? Even from reading it, it's clear. The Bible says greater is he that is in me than that demon of lust. So when does this demon of lust come to show face? You just speak this scripture to him. You say greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You will never hear from that demon again. So read these scriptures, meditate on these scriptures, keep on speaking it because some demons are stubborn. Some demons are stubborn. They'll be like, do you really know what you are saying? Do you really know? Don't be afraid. Keep on speaking with authority and with power and 
when they finally get that oh she has eaten this world she's now living in it she believes in it and she knows that this is who she is now that demon can near you so that's just that for that that's another scripture and the next scripture i'm going to be giving you and this is the third one it said romans 6 verse 14 says for sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under law but under grace hallelujah are you seeing that you are free so this demon has no right over you this demon of lust has no right to be bothering you it's not what god has said upon you he said for sin shall not have dominion over you for you are not under law but under grace you are hidden in christ you are inside god like this you speak it to that demon let light and truth come to that demon that keeps feeding you that thoughts when you speak the truth of god the word of god the light of god onto that demon he will flee and you will never ever hear from that demon again. so the next tip that i have for you that you must also practice you know depending on how strong this demon is you know holding your life but i still recommend that you do it because i definitely did it and i saw like drastic is to fast definitely you need to fast because the bible says in mark chapter 9 verse 29 it said and he answered them this type of powerful spirit can only be cast out by fasting and prayer so if you feel like this is something that has been bothering you for years it has become a stronghold in your life you feel like it has such bondage on you you fast and you pray you fast like you fast it can be two days three days four days depending as you are learning of the spirit for me i did four days fasting but guess what guys the first day of fasting i didn't hear from that demon again the first day or just that's how powerful fasting is what honorary prayer cannot do fasting will do it number four is to get rid of loopholes what do i mean by loopholes you have been praying you have been using the word of god you have been fasting but there's something left you have some doors and rooms that are open for this demon of lust to enter your life the bible says give no place for the devil and i'm gonna list a few examples of the doors that i'm talking about you've been praying you've been going to church they've delivered you but this lust have not left your life there's a door that is left open maybe multiple doors or just one door okay so that's why the bible says prayer is good when i come in by fasting and giving and righteousness Maybe there's somewhere in your life that you are not, like, that is not really straight. And I'm going to be giving you some examples. Movies that contain sexual content. You know that this movie that you are watching does not glorify God at all. It does not help your spirit man at all. And it is definitely giving room for the devil to give you that lustful thought. Please, if you know there's any movie you are watching, don't watch those movies again and before you collect movie from somebody before you download the movie make sure it is a movie that will glorify god and it's a movie that will edify your spirit man not open the door for demon of lust to be bothering you there are so many movies these days that they will definitely make you want to lust and if you know you don't want to lust erase them from your life stop watching those movies they are they are the loopholes you know that is making this demon to keep bothering your life okay so the next thing is pornography you can be praying you can't be reading your bible you can't you can't you can't be doing all those things and you are still watching porn 24 7 that is definitely a loophole please you have to stop watching porn so the next thing is sexual songs you keep listening to songs like push it in push it in push it in no 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 but if you are listening to some certain songs that will make you want to think of those things please eliminate them for your life delete them from your phone your computer stop feeding yourselves with sexual songs they are not helping at all it's part of the loopholes the next thing is dirty conversations with friends and friends you know your life was so much better until that friend started feeding you with some conversations and some things that that just made you want to lost even more if it is that friend please cut that friend off get rid of the loophole that friend 
could act as a loophole and those conversations you keep having with him or her they are not pure they are conversations that make you want to lost please get rid of the dirty conversations okay the next thing is masturbation masturbating you are praying you are reading the word of god you are doing everything but you are still masturbating this demon of lust ain't gonna leave you so you have to stop masturbating you have to stop it get it out of your life the next thing is social media posts that are not pure i know these days people post all sorts of things but my dear if that person's post that person you are following on instagram facebook if that person's status is not edifying your spirit please get rid of it move away from it delete that contact block that person mute that person that you will never ever ever have to see such things ever again it's part of getting rid of the loopholes those social media posts posts can act as a loophole so the next thing that is really going to help you to overcome that lustful thoughts forever and make sure you have to also practice this one it's part of it too is to not stay on the thoughts you know sometimes you've done point one point two point three point four point five but he just likes he just wants to come and test you again do you know what you do you resist the devil the bible says in james chapter 4 verse 7 says therefore submit to god resist the devil and he will flee from you resist him is he in any way is he trying to to throw back that thought at you again you resist him you ignore the thoughts you just resist him like as if it's not even there don't stay on the thoughts that he chose if i may just throw a thought of something don't stay on it don't overthink of it too much think of something else get yourself busy keep resisting him when he sees that ah you're no longer paying attention to him you think he has your time he has other people to tend he will leave you my sister he will leave you my brother he will leave you so resist him he could I, he could use even friends he keeps using friends or relationships to, that you know that will make you to go back to your past please resist those friends okay so yeah guys those are the five tips that are really going to help you to get rid of lustful impure thoughts forever permanently forever i'm telling you if you practice all of these five things together you're never, you're never ever gonna hear from those demon of lust again so please if you found this video helpful and this video blessed you please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below if what you are going to be doing comment down below your testimonies i'm really looking forward to hearing back from you guys and also make sure to share this video to whoever you feel may need it Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. And also, if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face, if it's your first time on the channel, please do not make it your last. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button below and also turn on your bell notification button so that you can get notified anytime I upload videos like this that are really going to be helpful to you and your work with God. So, I want to say again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, join the family, be a part of our family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you up on my next video. Until next time. Bye guys